What's up guys, Aaron here. Um, I wanted to make a quick video today explaining something that I tweeted earlier. Um, I get some DMs and questions about it and I wanna make sure that you guys understand um, what I mean by it and how it applies to you. So the tweet that I posted, uh, I'll put somewhere right here. And what it says is first punt well, then punt often. Um, and, and what this means guys is, is pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but I see a lot of you guys doing the exact opposite. When I look at film, when I look at Twitter, when I look at Instagram, when I look at everything as a combined total um, in the early part of the year, what I call phase one, January, February, March, April, right? What, what, I, what I would like and what I would hope and what I like to teach um, and what I like to impress upon the guys that I work with is this is your time to deconstruct, uh, you know, reimagine and then reconstruct, right? And then build back everything uh, better than it was uh, in the previous season. So what I mean by that is, you know, everyone should uh, be taking some notes, taking some ideas on some things that they liked from their previous year of punting after their season. Um, and then also looking at things they didn't like. So, hey, towards the end of the season, my drop was moving. Towards the end of the season, I rushed. Towards the end of the season or, or during the season, um, I couldn't hit my spots directionally, whatever it may Atta be. Boy. Have those down and then make it your goal to basically improve and perfect those things in the beginning part of the year, uh, the following year. So right now, everything that I'm doing with the guys that I work with uh, last weekend in Atlanta, this weekend coming up in Seattle, is mostly technical based. We will do a little bit of direction only because I don't get to those um, places very often. But typically, like last year when I was living in California, we didn't do a single directional punt until about April. And the reason being is, is because if you can't punt well going straight, if your drop can't fall straight, if your footwork is, you know, steps in the wrong direction, if your ball or your arm moves up and down, uh, if your shoulders get tall, if you can't do those things well, what's the purpose of trying to hit a big ball or trying to consistently be a guy that can punt right or punt left, right? Um, I see guys on Twitter all the time posting in, in January, you know, here's some great punts from the weekend and, I, you know, it's, it's a behind view and they're stepping right, swinging across, and yes, the balls might be 4'9", 5'0", 4'8", 55 yards, but I'm watching it and I'm going, all right, well, there's a lot of things technically wrong still. You know, the ball's really turning, the ball came up and in. And yes, young man, you caught that punt, but what happened on the next one? What happened on the next three? Um, and then what'll happen is, I'll see that same guy on Twitter in June, July, August, and they're making the same mistake and they're essentially the same guy. They're a couple months older, they're possibly a little bit stronger, but they're making the same mistake. And what I find is that what they didn't do, or should I say how they went about their off season is first they punted often and now they're trying to punt well, okay? So I, what I don't want is that you guys get into the crucial months, which hopefully this year we have the college camps again, we have summer camps, we have showcases, you know, we have our invite camps, we have top 12, you know, you're, you're fighting for scholarships, whatever it may be. And now all of a sudden you're fighting against yourself because you're going into a big showcase or a big, you know, top 12 weekend, or um, you're gonna go do a camp at, you know, Alabama or Mississippi or whatever, and you can't directional punt left because you've been stepping right all off season and then, you know, pulling it left. And now you're well, in your mind sitting in a hotel. Oh my gosh, I, I hope tomorrow we don't punt left. Well, that could have been prevented earlier in the year, January, February, March, and April, by really breaking yourself down, getting to the nuts and bolts, and then, you know, rebuilding yourself properly. So what I mean by first punt well, and then punt often is, fix your foundational mistakes first. Fix your foundational mistakes first. Fix your technical issues first. Fix your grip, your arm position, your body position, and your footwork. Get your body in the right place. Get your shoulders forward. Get your drop going perfectly. Let, get the ball falling flat and straight. All of those things before you try to become a guy hitting a big ball, trying to hit a directional punt, because none of that will matter if you can't trust your drop. None of that will matter if you can't trust your footwork. None of that will matter if your arm's too extended. And none of that will matter if you're standing up tall with your shoulders and you're not generating as much power as possible, okay? So realistically, don't be the guy that tries to punt often first and then punt well. Be the guy that has the 
discipline, the control to go, all right, these next few weeks might be a little difficult. They might be a little hard, but what I'm going to do is really buckle down, knock these things out so that when it gets time for, you know, to show myself at a punt camp or at a Vegas or whatever it may be, I'm ready to go right? So if you have any more questions on this, guys, please leave them down in the comments below. Um, I'm really enjoying interacting with you guys and, and growing the channel. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this because I like to share information and I like to help as much people as possible. Follow me on all the socials. I'll put those up. Um, and just make sure, again, you guys are letting me know if you have any questions or, or if you beg to differ, you know, if you think that that's wrong. So let me know. I hope you guys are, uh, are well. I hope this video found, finds you well. You and your family are, are well, safe and healthy. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Thanks for watching this video, guys. To continue along with this journey and watch this channel grow, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel.